today I'm going to see my um, urogynecologist today to, um, I don't know what you call it, but we're just going to be talking about my recent um, cystoscopy and um, probably what he saw and stuff like that because I still haven't talked to him since it. Since then, um, I don't really know exactly what he saw. I know he's seen, I know that he saw Hunter's lesions in my um, bladder, but I don't really know anything else besides that. Um, since the cystoscopy, my interstitial cystitis has honestly gotten worse. I'm sleeping less because I'm waking up more often to go to the restroom. And when I wake up, it's more painful. My bladder seems to be more swollen, probably because it can hold more liquid. Um, I just seem to be peeing more liquid instead of decreasing. You, you know, you, you would think that if they stretched my bladder, I'd be able to hold more liquid and I'd be able to wait longer. But I just seem to be getting my bladder full. It just seems to be like my bladder is fuller and I'm going just as much, if that makes sense. So when I go to the bathroom, I'm in more pain and I'm more swollen and it's hard to get to the bathroom than it was beforehand. And um, this is what I was worried about. I was worried that my interstitial cystitis was going to get worse. And I talked to him and he didn't seem to take that fear seriously. He told me it's very low, that he's never experienced it. So I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about going in there today. I don't know if he's going to maybe not take me seriously or what he's going to say. I tried Elmeron um, after the surgery and I could not, like, for the life of me, keep it down. So I stopped taking that because I was just throwing it up this maybe in 20, 30 minutes after I took it. So it was, it seemed pointless to me um, because it would just make me sick. So I'm nervous about this appointment. My mom's not taking me. My grandma's going to be taking me this time. And um, I'm in a lot of pain today and just nervous. I have no idea what to expect. I kind of, I, I feel like when I tell him that I'm, I feel like I'm worse now, I feel like that's going to make me feel weird. Like I feel weird that I do feel worse now. Um, I was really hoping that I would get better or at least stay the same. I know that we needed to do the um, cystoscopy with hydrostension, but I don't know. I just hope my bladder goes back to how it was before the surgery, honestly. I don't like that it's holding more liquid because it's, you know, I'm still going the same amount. Sometimes, like at night, I seem to be going even more at night, which um, doesn't make any sense. I've tried to not drink too much before I go to bed, but, you know, I have to drink a lot because I, if I don't have enough water, I get dizzier and all around just feel worse. And I end up, like, my pee tends to kind of get, like, concentrated and it burns more when I pee. Um, maybe if you have icy, you'll understand that. <sighs> but I'm extremely fatigued because, like, you know, I don't know if my, I mentioned earlier that my sleep, whatever's wrong with me sleep-wise is worse. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I've been getting up more often and that's why I'm more fatigued or if whatever's wrong with my fatigue, whatever is causing my fatigue is acting up. Um, part of me thinks it might be a little bit of both because... I'm extremely fatigued to the point where it's it's affecting me men, like my mental health because I'm so tired. Um, anything I try to do, I just want to sleep. Um, and it's caused me to have a lot of meltdowns, which are not fun. If you have autism, you know that meltdowns suck. And they're draining themselves. Um, and I normally always get a migraine after a meltdown because of all the crying. And it's just a whole big thing. So I'm hoping that he has some answers for me. Because I'm, I feel even more desperate now than I was when I went to him the first time. And so, yeah, I'll, I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging at the facility. Because <laughs> my grandma's going to be there with me. And I've never filmed around her before and I might feel weird and awkward. Um, I don't know. I'm still not very good at um, vlogging in public. Woo! Ha! Ah! No. Oh, I don't know if I told you, but that ma that sound is a new tick. Ma. No. Ma. So um, yeah, I've gotten a new tick on top of everything, but I'm gonna update you when I get into the room. So bye. No. 
So I'm here, we're in the waiting room. Um, I'm back here by myself for now, kind of. It's not really a waiting room, it's more like a hallway with chairs. <laughs> no! <laughs> and I'm being really loud. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to y'all once I get into the room, if I know anything. I'm in the room and I feel, I don't know, I talked to the nurse and I feel kind of just stupid right now. Hopefully I don't feel like that when I'm talking to him, but I probably am because I'm probably going to because I don't know how he's going to react. I just got to be, I just got to advocate for myself and hope that he takes me seriously. But I'm really, really nervous, so wish me luck. Hey, so I'm outside right now because my cats are always way too loud. I just got back from the doctor. Um, it went pretty well. He gave me a new medication that should hopefully help at night. He told me to stop the Elmer on since I'm not um, handling it and not like, oh, there's something on the lens. Since I'm not handling it and like keeping it down and stuff. So he says that um, I have glamour rotation so I don't have ulcers but I do have the interstitial cystitis you know the red tears that you see when you look up um I see um cystoscopy with hydrotension those red tears I have those but I don't have hunters or hunters lesions however you pronounce it I'll be sure to put the names up for y'all because I might be pronouncing it wrong <laughs> but I'm gonna let y'all hear the um pronounce the correct pronunciation of this word which I'll also put up there for y'all so I don't know it'll be if it'll be backwards or not glomerulation so those are what um they saw in my bladder after they so those are what's in those were what they saw in my bladder it is a sign of interest in just so I'm gonna read something for you refers to bladder hemorrhages which are thought to be associated with some types of interstitial cystitis. The presence of glomerulations, also known as, I don't know how to say that, they're hemorrhages in the bladder suggests that the bladder wall has been damaged, irritated, or inflamed. So basically I have interstitial cystitis and we're just trying to find out what works best for me so it's going to be going through several different types of medications. Eventually I'm probably going to try, there's kids, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure eventually one day I'm going to go try to find a pain management doctor. I don't know when that will be. Um, it's not something that I should be ashamed of. For a long time I was trying to avoid it. But I shouldn't avoid something like that because there's nothing to be ashamed about. It'll, it's just another form of treatment for me. Not wanting to be in pain is not a bad thing. People seem to give a negative name or whatever it is to people that use pain medications. And there's, it just, there, there shouldn't be any um, negative, negativeness around it. I don't really know what I'm saying. But there shouldn't be anything like that associated with it. So I'm going to be trying some other medications before I do that because if I can um, prevent it, I don't want to have to take pain medications. Um, but I'm not going to totally like say I'm never going to take it because I don't think that's accurate. Um, I know hydrocodones do help. They don't totally take away the pain, but they do dull it. And that would be something, something along those lines is something that I would be wanting to look into if um, I get to the point where I'm, I need to pain medication. But um, he didn't really say too much about the fact that I'm worse. He didn't really even mention it. He just said, well, let's try this new medication. So I didn't feel like he was gaslighting me or didn't. I don't know necessarily if he was, I didn't feel negative in the room with him in there, um, which is good. So what I was afraid of didn't happen and I'm um, eager to try this new medication. It should hopefully help me sleep. So, so I will talk to y'all later. I hope you'll have an amazing day. Thanks for staying alive and I'll see you next time. Bye.